Hey guys and welcome back. Today is this really fun warm toned fall inspired look and it's very much like a pumpkin-y spicy look so I will call this a pumpkin spice tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It features some of my favorite products and some really really awesome awesome beautiful eyeshadows don't mind this eye i have been having some problems with it today but yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more and um yeah just continue to watch enjoy okay so i have already filled my brows in and i have prepped my face with my bobby brown face base which is amazing I have also primed my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Bot, which is an all-time favorite. I doubt I'm going to go in with this color by MAC, and this is just the color Soft Brown. And I'm going to use this as a base shade. The next shade I'm going to go in with with a little bit more of a more precise fluffier brush is the color Birkin by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is just going to go on the inner and outer crease just literally like this. It's not going to go on to the lid, it's just going to go all over the crease okay and the next shade I'm gonna go in with is by Anastasia and it is the color burnt orange matte and this is gonna go on with a fluffy brush and I'm going to literally apply this all over the crease down to the upper lid and I'm also going to apply that shade with a more precise brush which is the shading brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to apply this underneath of the eye right along that lower lash line Now the next color I'm going in with is the color Blazing by Anastasia and I'm taking that same fluffy brush which is a Sephora number 27 large blending brush and this is going to go literally right on top of the shadows that we just applied into the crease and onto the upper lid. And also, this is going to go along the bottom lash line on the outer bit. I'm going to highlight the brow bone quickly using Max Green. And now for the last really fun color I'm going to use. This is by Makeup Forever in this I-736 and this is going to go just into the outer crease. This is so beautiful and it ties this look together. And I'm going to bring it into the outer lid also. ran a little bit of that underneath of the lash line also. I'm going to do my upper lash line 
with this Kat Von D tattoo liner. And now I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Black Chocolate Longwear Eye Pencil. And I'm just going to line the bottom waterline. I'm going to do the L'Oreal True Match in N3 and the NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc and together these are a pretty good match for me right now. And I'm just going to apply with my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. And this NARS, um, this NARS foundation will oxidize because this looks really light, especially since my eyes are already done. But the foundation definitely will oxidize. Okay, so I'm going to conceal with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer, which is really, really good concealer. And this is really good coverage for the face, so I really don't need to spot concealer or anything. And I'm going to go in with my setting powder, and this is just the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is I'm just going to set the under eye with that, and around the center of my face. Now I'm going in with this itty bitty little Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer because I do need to warm up my face a little bit. So I'm taking this on a Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to get that line right there. And take it under my chin. And more along my forehead. For blush, I'm taking this blush by MAC. And it is the color Gingerly. So, so pretty. It is such a pretty color. And then I always just kind of go up here with my blush just because I'm worried. Well, that's okay. And now on to mascara. And I'm going to take my Lash Princess Mascara by Essence because this mascara is life right now. And it's literally like $3.99 I think at Ulta 
And I'm going to put plenty of coats on here. Because this will give you a false lash effect. And now for highlight, I'm going to go in with um, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. And I'm just going to mix the two of them together. And I don't know where my highlighting brush is. So I'm just going to use my bronzer brush and pat this. One up there. And then, to finish it off, I am taking my lipstick of choice, and this is by MAC, and this is in the color Kinda Sexy, and I think it's appropriate for this look. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.